As you guys are aware, the Yu-Gi-Oh campaign is done. The only thing that remains are the reverse duels, but if you want me to do them, you just let me know. Now it's time for us to get our game on with Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. And Yu-Gi-Oh! GX is a long one, I assure you. It'll be several parts long, but hopefully it is to your liking. Let us get started with the next King of Games set 10 years after the events of the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Thanks to Yugi and his friends, dueling had now become a worldwide phenomenon, and duel academies popped up everywhere. Aspiring duelist Jaden Yuki, or Yuki Judai, was given the chance to enter the highly distinguished duel academy, but there was one catch, he must win a duel to gain entry. In his rush to get to the school, he bumped into a mysterious person that resembled a familiar figure from the past. Uh, sorry. You're a duelist, aren't you? Yup. I'm gonna try out the academy. You don't say. Hey, yeah. Hey, you're... Why don't you take this? Something just tells me that it belongs with you. Wow, for real? Good luck. Realizing that he was late, Jaden rushed off to the academy hoping to get there in time to qualify for entry. All right, test time. Son, what's your name? Uh, Jaden Yuki. Well, uh... Jaden Yuki, I'm Dr. Valian Crowler, department chair of techniques here at Duel Academy. Wow, a department chair? I had no idea. From how you were dressed, I was thinking you were some kind of weird academy mascot, like a major or cheerleader. How do I get one of those cool blue dual blazers like the one you're wearing? A lot of hard work and extremely high marks. Of course, you first have to get into Duel Academy, and I intend to make certain that won't be happening. Well, I'm ready, so let's duel. GX, I got a lot of good memories of it. Welcome to Duel Academy. I am here to ensure that you're up to date with, on summons. Today we'll be covering fusion summons. A fusion summon is done by using a polymerization card to summon a fusion monster. Fusion monsters are monsters you can summon from your extra deck and not from your main deck. Fusion monsters are violet colored cards in your extra deck. They are summoned by using the specific monsters listed on the card combined with a summoning card like Polymerization or Fusion Gate. As the description of Polymerization, you can send Fusion Material monsters that are listed by a Fusion Material card from your hand or your side of the field to the graveyard, and special summon the Fusion monster from your extra deck. Now it's time we demonstrate. First, let's protect our life points. Set Clayman in defense position. That is all we can do, and we will end our turn. This is just pretty much a tutorial. And he starts off with an ancient gear. Not wise, Doctor. Now let's perform a fusion summon. Activate polymerization. This lets us summon a Rampart Blaster. Well, you can see that in order to summon the monster, you need to use two monsters as fusion material. First, select Elemental Clayman and Bristinatrix as fusion materials. This allows us to summon Elemental Hero Rampart Blaster. Set it in attack mode. You can still summon Elemental Hero Nos in attack position. Now it's time to attack. Set the battle phase. Now let's set up main phase two. Now let's use Fusion Recovery to retrieve Polymerization and Verstinatrix. Now let's set this face down. That is it. Now what do you have up your sleeves? Now he summons an Ancient Gear, and releases them to summon Ancient Gear Golem. No traps can be played. 
Not good. We can deal with that. Let's set up our field spell. Skyscraper. Now we can fusion summon again, using both Avian and Burstinatrix to form Flame Wingman. And yeah, that was during when Maya was in a big Yu-Gi-Oh high. I eventually would start watching the Japanese dub until I event like got my hands on, I believe, a DVD containing the first 13 episodes. And the damage come kicks in. Effect damage. That is that. That's game. So I guess that passed the test, huh, Teach? Impossible! There's no way this delinquent could defeat me! I made the academy, I'm in, I'm in! By defeating Dr. Crowler, Jaden was granted entry to Duel Academy. The next day, everyone gathered in the main hall for the introduction ceremony. Welcome, my students. I'm Chancellor Shepard, the headmaster here, and you are the best and brightest young duelist in the world. Now, please get yourself settled in your assigned dorms. I think you'll find them quite comfortable, depending upon how you rank, of course. Well, I don't know about you, Sai, but it looks like I'm in the Slifer Red dorm. That's cool, same with me. Hey, Bashin, you in red too? Well, now, let's see here. Yellow sleeves, yellow buttons, I don't think so. Oh, I get it, so that's why Sai and I are in red. Please don't tell me that you're just figuring that out now. So what? Ever think I'm cover blind? Well, no, actually I didn't. Are you color blind? No, but I could have been. See around the dorms. I doubt that. You're going the wrong way. Your dorm is over there. This isn't a dorm, it's like an outhouse with a deck. You kidding me? Check out the view, this place is great. This one here is our room, side. It's kind of small, huh? Hey, you're a small guy. Anyway, I like it. This will make a sweet path for our first year here. It's kind of weird meeting at the entrance exams, and now roommates? Think we were somehow connected to each other in some ancient life, Jaden. You know, like you were an Egyptian pharaoh and I was the guardian Seto? No offense, but that's just lame. Well, it could be true. Forget it, they broke the molds when they made the two of us. Yeah, for different reasons. Because you're an awesome duel and I'm... What's the opposite of awesome? Unawesome? Sigh, we're gonna have to work on that confidence. But first, let's work on this pad. Open the curtains and let in the fresh air. Hey, those were closed for a reason. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we didn't see you sleeping up there on that bunk bed. Who are you and what are you doing in my room? Oh, sorry, my name's Jaden Yuki. And I'm Cyrus, we're your new roommates. You're new, all right, so let me tell you how things work around here. What things? Like what Parrot's Weekend's gonna be? More like how the whole color thing works. That's more important than anything. Yeah? You got three different kinds of students here. Obelisk Blue students, Raw Yellow students, and Slight for Red students. The Blues are the highest ranked students. Some kids are blue because of grades, others through connections. The Yellows are second high highest. Mostly younger students with lots of potential. Then there are us, the Red Wonders. The Wonders, that's a cool name. As in, I wonder how flunkies like us ever got this far. Sorry, but we're bottom of the barrel here, dueling duds. Hello children, my name is Professor Banna. I am not only your headmaster at Slifer Red, but I also teach alchemy at Duel Academy. You will also learn that I am a wonderful chef. Why all my students characterize my scrumptious meals as adequate. So chop chop to the cafeteria, it's lunchtime. Oh, I'm Chumley, by the way. Now we've already introduced the GX. Not wasting any time. We begin a duel in love. Angry that Jaden made a mockery of it, Dr. Crowler created a fake love letter from Alexis Rose, the jewel among Obelisk Blue's top students. Since the moment I first saw you, I've been in love with you. Meet me tonight behind the girl's door. Endearingly, Alexis Rose. Dr. Crowler planned to expel Jaden by getting a photo of him trespassing in the girl's dorm. It was the perfect plan. Except Dr. Crowler accidentally put the love letter in Cyrus' locker instead of Jaden's. Later that night at the girls' dorm, Alexis and her friends caught Cyrus and demanded that Jason Jaden come rescue him. If you don't want us to turn you in, we're gonna, you're gonna have to win your freedom by beating me in a duel right now. If you turn us in, we'll be expelled! Don't worry, Cy, I won't let that happen. Now let's duel, Alexis! That took place in episode 3. In the second episode, it was when Jaden first dueled against Chaz, a.k.a. Jun Manjome. 
And yes, I went for the Japanese dub because after watching the four kids dub and how adequate it was, it just wasn't that great. Let us not waste time. That's all I got to an easy skyscraper for my troubles. All right, then. This is all I can do for the time being. And yeah, I'm using story decks. She also plays Pot of Greed. You chose incorrectly. No, not gonna take damage. I'm gonna take the 800 points. You can discard one card, then target one face up attack position your monster controls, and then destroy it. Dang it, if I had a, if I had Versinatrix still on the field, it would have helped. Double passe. Discard again. I have a spare. Rare gold armor. I'll be taking your life points. I don't have anything, so I will pass. This is all I can do for the time being. I got nothing. Yeah, this is not a fun way to start this off. That's not a good car to use. Come on, Jaden, your deck really does suck. Wait, why would you play this? Ugh, you gave me a pretty, a very lame deck. At least the fusion game would have helped if I had Thunder Giant. That sucks. Yep, my first loss in GX. Gotta try again. And I am gonna try again. Well, what do you know? I actually get, get some good luck. I 
I set this face down. That's it. Reinforcement of the army. Take no damage. Gotta banish these two. And set it to the extra monster zone. And you take an additional 1400 points of damage. And plus I was a big fan of warrior monsters, so there's always that. Continue on the attack. Another blade skater, which means you'll suffer more effect damage. And yeah, because of the fact that you have the extra monster zone, you really need to be a bit precise with your fusion summons. Another blade skater. The damage you take will be very extensive. Just gotta keep at this. And he has nothing, so that means that's game. Or is it? Alright, my friend, what face down do you have in there? Yeah, and he takes zero damage because it's zero attack points. Smart move! Very smart! Unfortunately, that's game. Or is it? You're just biding for time, Alexis. Cause that's okay. Continue attacking. to do it, you know. Fine, my wingman, wipe him out. Yeah, and you die via effect damage. Better luck next time. Looks like that is game. A deal's a deal. I won, so we get off free. Okay, guys, we'll keep quiet about what happened tonight. Jaden beat me fair and square, and that's all there is to it. Nah, there's more to it than that. It was a close match. You got game. Next stop is the episode 5. The Shadow Duelist. Jaden and his friends Cyrus and Chumley were wandering the school grounds when they came across an old abandoned dorm that was supposedly haunted. To their surprise, Alexis was also there. Alexis, what are you doing here? That's funny. I was about to ask you guys the very same thing. 
We heard about the dorm and wanted to check it out. Well, that's not very intelligent. Don't you know that kids have a way of disappearing around here? Oh, that's just some urban myth. No, it's not. Believe me, I know. Why else would the Academy make this place completely forbidden? If they catch you here, they'll expel you, Jaden. So why are you here? One of the kids who disappeared here was my brother. If Alexis's brother really disappeared, then the rumors aren't just rumors. I say we go back, Jaden. Yeah, I say we go in. What? Oh, wait up. I hope Jaden knows what he's doing. Oh. Ah, who are you? When Jaden and his friends entered the door to investigate, Alexis was captured by Titan, a notorious hitman hired by Dr. Crowler to kick Jaden out of the academy. Titan trapped Alexis in a coffin, using her as bait to go Jaden into a duel. Hand Alexis over right now or you'll be sorry. The only way I'll free her is if you beat me at a shadow game. I'm not afraid of dueling you, but shadow games don't exist. The others didn't believe in the shadow games either, but they were soon convinced. For you see, when you lose in a shadow game, you don't just play with your life points, you pay with your soul. So you're the one behind all those disappearances. Well, you're not getting us, especially Alexis. Unless you win, she's mine forever, as you will be. All right, get your game on. I found that line absolutely ridiculous. But regardless, we have a job to do, and we gotta win this. This happened, I believe, during a two-part episode, which would then lead to another two-parter. That is all I will do for the time being. Terraforming, and he brings out Archfiend Palabyrinth. Not as wise. Fine, you want to rely on field spells too? Then play that game. Oh yeah, I only have Thunder Giant. Fine, it'll have to do. I don't have Rampart Blaster. I need Thunder Giant so I can then really wreck this guy. Terror King Archfiend! Oh boy. Not a good sign. Oh great. Looks like I don't have much of a choice. I don't even have enough strength to do that. I should have just used Skyscraper instead. Battle Scarred. Oh my god, now with this, I'll suffer effect damage too. I'm boned. Wait a minute. What? Why? Alright, oh, I'm boned any. Oh, wait, no, I'm not boned. I'm still alive for this. It only just bought me one turn. Yep, I am 100% boned. No, I'm being serious. I am absolutely boned. Yep, I've been careless. Yeah, and I'm gonna go down the effect damage.
What's with her Archfiend deck? Yep, bones. Damn it. Skyscraper will help heroes target the largest monsters. Fine by me then. Darn it. So he goes first, huh? Now things get fun. Archfiend Palabyrinth. He has nothing on his hand. Fine, we're gonna fight back. I'll need that fusion gate. Yeah, because if he brings out that Archfiend, he'll use Battle Scar, so that way we share the damage. Son of a... Double spell. Oh, so that way he can use Terraform. Wait, Pandemonium? That's 2,000 points of damage. Fine. Looks like my plan's already falling apart. He's got nothing. Good. If I had Miracle Fusion, I'd be using it right now. This is going to be one heck of a day. Okay, what's the point of you repeatedly using double spell if you don't have anything? Aside from the fact that you keep shuffling your deck. Goody. Really? Now let me give you my surprise. Thunder Giant approach! Okay, I won't lie, that was cool. Whoops, you rolled incorrectly!
Let me guess, he didn't draw anything that good? Wow, what an unlucky hand you have! My oh my, it wasn't really that long. This game's mine. Sorry, Titan, but you got lucky one time, not this one. No! Jaden was able to defeat Titan and free Alexis from her coffin. Good morning, sleepyhead! Where am I? What are you doing here? Hold on, what kind of a thank you is that? We're here because we had to find the bad guy, win the duel, and rescue the damsel in distress. Oh yeah, that strange man snatched me. That's right, we found your card, and this. A picture of my brother. This is the first trace of him I've seen in a long time. I brought it to let you know that we want to help you find him. After all, we can't have you getting locked up in any more tomb searching for him all by yourself. You really were worried about me, weren't you? Yeah, you were. That's good. Now we move on to For the Sake of Cyrus. Cyrus thought that he was not strong enough to duel, so he left a note for Jaden telling him that he was leaving the academy. After finding the note, Jaden and Chumley frantically searched for Cyrus and his brother Zane. Zane was not surprised that Cyrus was giving up. So that's Zane, the school's top duelist. You're dropping out? Well, yeah, kinda. It's about time. You're his big brother, how can you say that? Because I know him. I bet you think you do, but guess what? You don't. And I'm gonna prove it right now. Let's duel. Duel Slifer? Sure, why not? After all, it's been a while since I went slumming. Then get your game on. Cyrus Truesdale, or rather Zane Truesdale, aka Kaisario Marafuji Nyo. He's the one who specializes on cyber dragons. Would it be surprised if we had a Cyber Dragon Synchro? And his deck has Cyber Twin Dragon and Cyber End Dragon. Then we have Cyber Dragon Core. Better yet, why not? I'll hold on to this. Activate one day of peace. Then finally different dimension capsule. Place this away and hold it on for two turns. Starts off with the first Cinetrix. Reinforcement of the army. Take no effect damage. And now he uses Polymerization to fuse Clayman and Burst Cinetrix to form. Oh, wait. He's forming Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. In his extra monster zone. And it sets a field spell face down. There's like a lot of those. Cyber Larva, Cyber Dragon Sway, Cyber Dragon Gray. Proto Cyber Dragon. There you go, Cyber Dragon. And I can special summon it without the need of a monster. Which also lets me summon Cyber Dragon Sway. Activate its effect. Reveal Fusion Gate. And I activate Fusion Gate to form Cyber Dragons 1 and 2. And form Cyber Twin Dragon. And 
Now you understand how the whole thing works. And as weird as that is, that is just... Oh, wait, I got to... Oh, yeah, he attacks twice. I would well for Cyber and Dragon, but Twin Dragon's the better bet in my opinion. And like him, he also activates a fusion. What is he going to choose? Thunder Giant. But here's the problem. He has Skyscraper! Oh, how smart of you. Different Dimensional Castle lets me gain my Cyber Dragon back. third one. Fusion Gate once more. Cyber and Dragon. You won't even have the strength for this. So much for your fusion monsters. You don't have anything left. How disappointing. destroy the face down he played. I win. That was disappointing. Thanks for a great duel, Zane. So, Zane, what do you think? I think Cyrus chose good friends, Alexis. Your brother's got mad skills. Well, at least I got the looks. <laughs> Come on, let's go home and work on our decks. That was not an easy fight. Now comes formula for success. Dr. Crowler was still looking for someone that could defeat Jade and Yuki in a duel. He thought that he found his answer in Bastion Masawa, a mathematic genius who calculates his duels to an exact formula. Later in class, a fellow blue student told Chad that he could no longer sit in the obelisk's blue section. He would now have to sit with the raw yellow losers instead. This is all wrong. I don't belong over there with those losers. Dr. Crowler, tell everyone this is a mistake. Tell them I belong up here. But you don't! You haven't since you lost that one duel to... Oh, what, what was it now? Ah, yes, I remember Jade and Yuki. A slacker! Which is why you will duel Bastion Misawa tomorrow. And if you lose to him as well, you two will switch dorms. You mean... I'd become a... Raw Yellow Duelist? Yes, very good. Now, if only you could duel as well as you listen. The next morning, a school staff member told Jaden that there were a larger number of cards floating in the water off the docks. Jade and Bastion and Cyrus went to investigate. Ah, that's Ring of Destruction and Force Raider. Bastion, these are all your cards. It's my own fault. The deck was in my desk, and I moved my desk through the hallway yesterday when we were painting. Someone must have taken it back. Who would do something like this? Someone who doesn't want you advanced to Obelisk Blue, that's who. Your deck's totally ruined. Aw, oh, man, what in the world are we going to do now, Bastion? Your promotion exam is less than an hour. Less than an hour later. 
Sebastian, you made it, and I see you brought some friends. I hope you do better than the company you keep. Wait a sec, Chas is your test opponent? Bastion, then he must have been the one who tossed your cards. Pardon? I don't know what he's talking about, Dr. Crowler. I didn't do a thing. Oh, was that so? I saw you, Chaz. This morning by the water, you dumped them in and ran off. I normally wouldn't snitch, but you don't mess with someone's deck. Aw, oh, come on. Who's to say I wasn't throwing away my own cards? I guess Bastion and I just had similar decks, that's all. Liar. No one calls me a liar, and no one calls me a thief. Fine. Then you're not. Let us just have our duel. Fine by me. We may as well just get this over and done with and move on. And yes, this also happened in the anime as well. And why am I such getting lucky shots on this, you know? And yeah, I don't mind the noise. That's on my phone. I forgot to set the vibrate. But now let's get on our way. First things first. Draw two cards. Nice, we actually get a duo Tehran. All right, we have a Hydro Ganon. Bring on Hydro Ganon. Let me summon a second one to be safe. It never hurts. Okay, now let's see what this guy's got up his sleeves. You take Dualtarian? He releases it and all the cards in his hands to summon Infernal Incinerator. Cute, Matt. Cute, my friend. Cute. Very cute. Mad Knight. As long as he has that, I can't do much. Our banana need a thousand attack. You can banish it, special summon. That means it lets him summon heals out of you. Wait a minute. I see, can't do much. Great. Ashton, don't let me down. Yep, this guy's a fire type. And I got whooped. Okay. Looks like I'll have to really step up my game. Fine by me. Guess that didn't work. I'll have to try again, but under a different tactic.
That'll have to do. But that summoner mark may be helpful. Alright, let's see what he's got up his sleeves. Yes, activate the effect of Hydro Ganon. Now that's how it should work. And now I'm dishing out the pain. A Chthonian soldier? Wait, what are you trying to do? Fossil dig, summon Oxygeddon. And now I can actually use Bonding H2O. And this lets me summon the all-powerful Water Dragon. Yeah, which means your fire monsters are 100% sunk. Wait, I take battle damage? Wow. Well, it looks like you're out of luck, Chaz. Or should I say, Jun Manjome. Yeah, I like the Japanese dub more. What are you trying to do? Chthonian Alliance. You know, that was not the smartest strategy. <laughs> what are you, an idiot? No, seriously, why would you even do that? Did you forget that when Water Dragon's on the field, the attack and fi of fire and pyro monsters become zero? There's a little lesson in karma, my friend. Even the AI can be idiots. A well-played duel, Chaz, but not well enough. Pure luck. You drew a lucky card and stumbled into the wind, that's all. Perhaps. But luck favors the prepared. And I was prepared to beat you with a half a dozen other cars as well. Sorry, you would have lost one way or another. Chaz, you stole, you lie, you cheated, and you lost. You deserve to be demoted. No! This can't be! Oi! What a mess that turned out to be. And it looks like we'll be skipping a lot. So yeah, we're, now we're skipping most of the first half and moving on to the second half of season one. That is going to be it for this part of, well, Link Evolution. The GX duels have already begun and there's no end in sight. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. Helps out big time. I'll see you in the next part. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.